Greetings and salutations. This is Imperator Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hello. Today we are doing an unboxing video for the ordnance battery for Pike and Shot. And seriously, if you just go online and see the picture for this, you're just going to go out and buy it, aren't you? I suppose so. No? Don't you like it? I think it's awesome. So, you know, you know when you normally buy Canon? You know you see Canon? Um, you know, it's just sort of a cannon with four guys stood around it and it looks boring. Looking off into the distance. Yeah, and and maybe there's some hussars charging it in the background or something. Whereas you look, at, Yeah, but you look at this and you get all of this with it. This, this, this isn't just a picture, it's actually... You actually get all of this as well. It's great. So that's why I bought it. Yes. <laughs> well, no, yeah, well, yes, 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 yes it was. Um, but, um, yeah, because we're doing a, a, a game which will require Defences. So and you want the best, fanciest one you can get. I do. Uh, yes. Yeah. But I saw. I took one look at this and I said, "This has to be in my collection." So they're all in bags. Okay. Which one do you want to go for first? Oh, they're all in bags. So. Right. We'll we'll go bit by bit, shall we? It's like Christmas again. It is. It's, it's Christmas. That's what it is. Right. Here we have the bases. These are pretty cool. What do you think of those? Pretty empty at the moment. Yeah, but just think, just look at that. Isn't that awesome? It's just great. You just get these little things and defenses and stuff. It's cool. I'm going to pop this one. And there we have... Defense. Defenses. Just look at that. That is just brilliant, isn't it? Do you think? Looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's really good. I mean, I remember the back of the days when we used to get a workshop and we used to get the resin things for other things. So we'd get one thing and then get the other thing to go with it. And this, just get all, all the stuff together. If this was Games Workshop, you get the Canon, which would cost five times more. And then you get this from a different company um, which is also against Workshop, but a different company, and this would also cost five times more as well. So that's what you get. Instead, you get everything in one box. So thank you for Tina. Do you reckon these people are real? No. I don't think they are. I think it's made up. Right. And here we have the cannon. We have the oops, the mortar, and. I'm not even going to bother trying to put <laughs> these together at the moment. I'm just going to put them out so you can see them. That's one cannon with all the little bits. And that is the crew for it, which I will do a, a thing on in a minute. There they go. And they will all be the same, I suggest. And the other one is more or less the same, if I just adjust the camera so you can see it properly. There you go, what do you think of that? So you get a guy who's sort of got his hand on his ear, probably because the camera's going to fire and it's really loud. You get another chap with a stick and he's pushing it into a bucket because it's all wet. Uh, he's making it wet in order to cool the camera down. Uh, then you've got the guy with the burn your match thing. And then you've got another guy with some powder, and another burning match thing, and a guy with a telescope. So useful. Absolutely useless, really, isn't it? I mean, no, what, incredibly useful. No, it's useless. What use is a telescope? Because it's pointless. Well, I suppose it can mark over there. Yeah, but your cannon's Shoot not actually... that direction. Your cannon isn't going to actually hit what you're aiming at. Come on, you just fire in the general direction, you don't need a telescope. We well, do actually, don't you? No, the enemy's coming really close, right, pack it if you've got to run away. No, because the cannon moves every time you fire. So you have to readjust it. They're really inaccurate. Not if you nail it down. No. no. Um, it, um, <laughs> we were at a, a thing, and um, a, they were using a cannon. Uh, it, uh, it was English Civil War thing. And they fired the cannon, and the cannon, a load of wadding came out of the cannon and landed on the car, the car park at the other side of the battlefield. And the car caught fire and it burnt half the cars in the car park. It was so funny. Was your car park there? Nope, nope, mine was around the back with all well, with, with the rest of the plebs. So we, we were fine. But the poor people who come to watch the show, they all had their cars burnt. And so, oh my god. It wasn't our fault. 
I'm nothing to do with cannons. Don't look I'm never going to go to one ever. <laughs> yeah. Right, and here's the second cannon. Just put the bits out. And here's a guy. He is awesome. He's all done up in armor. You've got a guy with a Gisela. And you've got him and a guy from Lord of the Rings. And another chap. Right, so now you can see them all. That's great, isn't it? Especially like the Lord of the Rings guy with the dwarf in a barrel. That's really good, that. That's good, that. So what do you think? It's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? That's actually quite good. That is a... Uh... I don't see that much crew before for a cannon. No, you get a decent amount, don't you? Yeah. Um, I especially like the guy completely in armour. Somehow I don't think he trusts the guy loading the charge. I think... Yeah. I think the guy putting the charge together is going, Nah, I think you've overloaded that one, mate. So we have a long barrel, which is quite good, and a big massive cannon, and a mortar. Um, overall cannons tend to be a bit rubbish. Uh, the mortar is probably the most deadly weapon during this time period. That's it, so yeah. Humpty Dumpty was a mortar. No, Humpty Dumpty was an egg that sat on a wall, fell off, cracked his, his head open, and everyone cried, and then they ended up fixing him in the end. Why? No, Humpty Dumpty was a mortar. No, it wasn't. Uh, it was mounted, on the, wall. mounted on the walls of um, the city of York uh, during the English Civil War, and the, the mortar fired and it fell off. It's an egg. No, it was a mortar. It's definitely an egg. And it fired and it fell off, and they couldn't get the damn thing back on the wall. If I look up Humpty Dumpty, an yeah. egg will pop up. Yeah, I know it will because Google's silly. With odd looking trousers on. No. It was a cannon. And it falls off. It was a damn cannon, okay? And he cries and they about couldn't it. get the cannon back up on the wall, and because they couldn't get it back up, they couldn't shell the troops digging towards the There's wall. Then a bunch of people come and save him and then patch him up and he gets back on the wall all nice and happy. Well actually all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't get the cannon on the wall again. Could what, they? What cannon? That Humpty Dumpty was called Humpty Dumpty. It's an egg. No, it's the sound of the cannon made it's when it's an egg. Fired. It's the sound. It's Humpty Dumpt. It's no, the don't. sound. Right, then you know. it, the can. That's what it. No, I'm not talking to you anymore. No, I'm not. No, I'm no, not. This is talking out of your bottom. No, I'm not. I'm <laughs> sure. I feel like I'm going insane talking to you sometimes. Humpty Dumpty is an egg that fell off the wall no, and cracked his head. No, it didn't. So I got told as a kid. It's not a about mortar. About a cannon. It's in a mortar a minute ago. A, a mortar, a cat, something that goes mm. bang, okay? A cat in carry on your own story. Oh my god. It's proof that you make it up. Do you know why I'm getting older? Do you know humans don't actually age in real life? They is don't it, age. Is it, is it's it, stress. It's, it's stress. Do you, know, do you know that's why people have kids? So it makes them old. It makes them age and then eventually die. Right? That's what happens well, to I'm you. But I'm the one telling the truth. The other one talking, you know. Not true. I will strangle you in a minute. <laughs> it is, though, it's an egg. It's not. It is. It's, it's an egg in a wall which falls off and cracks its head. Poor little Humpty Dumpty, and he thinks you want. He sits on the wall. <laughs> All happy in the end. That's what happens. So, yeah. I am not talking to you anymore. Right. So, uh, these are the cannon and stuff you get. Here's Humpty Dumpty. And. Dave and Bob. I'm pretty sure it's the Fire Eggs. Um, actually, the cannon used to have names. The Fire Eggs, though, does it? So, actually, that one was called Humpty Dumpty. But, um, actually, yes, it does fire eggs. Look, that's an egg there. Egg there. There's some eggs there. They're presents. Eggs out round. These are. <laughs> and that it fires the eggs and gives <laughs> them as a present. They do talk an enormous amount of, you know, what. <laughs> actually, the, these used to fire um, huge grenades which would explode over the enemy that were digging trenches towards the city or your fortification because they used to dig these trenches all the way up to your fortification and then blow it up horrible nasty people yeah? any questions now?
I don't want to talk about I'm just double checking my any questions on the actual I have things? no questions on the said object. Right, so it's just canon. That's it. it right. is canon. So that is what you get in the box, um and that's it. That's all I have to say on the subject. Okay. Over to you. Is she the water top of Hunts Dumpty? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to strangle you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below if Hunts Dumpty is an egg. I don't actually. I don't even talk in anymore. They'll sign with me. Yeah, of course they will. They're the internet people. Well, because they know the truth. No, internet people don't pay any attention. No, they know. They know it's an egg. Honestly. They know it's an egg. No. It is. Away. It's an egg. Go away. It's it is. Do you know what? If any of them have children, I'm going to tell them to ask their children, and no one, no one, George, I'm going to say, it's an egg. Look, there's there's a guy here who's actually pushing a dwarf into a barrel. Don't there. change the subject. This guy, no, that's what he's doing. Seriously, look, he's actually pushing a dwarf into the barrel, and then this guy, he's rolling a dwarf. He's dwarf rolling, yeah, and he's going to put the dwarf in the in the river, and the dwarf's going to sail down the river to Lake Town. That's everything from me. And everything from him? Goodbye. See ya.